Cafe is a social enterprise that was started by Sabine Langer. Uh, she basically put together the money to, to establish the place, to open it up and get it going. And the mission statement is cultural enrichment and uh, working with immigrants and refugees from different parts of the globe to basically provide a, a better opportunity to uh, include ourselves into society and into the culture of, of, of where we are currently living now. Um, via the job and via a better salary, you know, medical benefits, so on and so forth, as opposed to the likelihood of ending up in a dead-end job, in a, in a warehouse, in jobs that uh, don't allow you to go to English classes and to, to do community activities and things of that nature. the most that fulfill me the most is the the amount of cultural enrichment in it the amount of um, diversity with with uh, folks from like virtually every, every other corner of the globe type of thing um, because it's not a very expensive city it facilitates itself to being a, a uh, uh, you know great place for immigrants and refugees to land in because it's a cheaper uh, cost of living all around type of thing and a cheaper cost of, of goods and a lot of job opportunities between the, the uh, huge um, you know, medical industry with janitorial services and the food service with cooking and busing and serving and dishwashing and bar backing and all that kind of stuff. Our industries facilitate to have people come into them from those backgrounds and uh, be able to find a job right out of the gate and also be able to afford the, the cost of living and, and, and do so in, in a humane kind of way type of thing. So that's probably the number one thing I like about Memphis. Uh, I believe the entertainment level out here is amazing. There's always something to do. If you're bored, it's because you want to. And I love all of the outdoor uh, uh, activities, if you would. A lot of bike trails, a lot of uh, in, in, in immense amount of trail running ability, uh, but options that we have out here a crazy amount of lakes and rivers to kayak and to paddle board or to just you know go walk along the trails and soak your feet in the water and decompress and, and say over them park or shelby farm state park or or the wolf river trails or you know shelby uh, uh shelby county park and there's a county in the state park there's an incredible amount of outdoor stuff to do there's always something to do if you're bored it's because you want to and I love that about it, and you can pick and choose whether you want to spend money in those activities or you have a, a budget that you got to keep it under. You can still figure something out to do and have a great time and decompress and, you know, get out there and have a zen time if you, if you would. So. So I just want to continue to see the, the, the bridges being built to bring those folks together, to bring you know the people from Sudan and the people from uh, all of the African countries and the people from uh, Venezuela and Nepal and Mexico and Memphis as a community um, see each other as, as, as uh, you know fellow human beings rather than, than immigrant or refugee or, or, or Mexican or Minfian or whatever you want to call it, um, just to continue to see those uh, uh, gaps being bridged and see those bridges being built to where we are all standing on common ground and we continue to grow as a community, both like I said um, in, in the financial sense and in, on a, on a ethnical, in ethical and moral and humanitarian sense. I believe that we have a lot of that stuff going on and it's beautiful to see it and it's amazing to see the people come together and go to a place, you know, like the one we're in right now or several other places in town where you go and you meet somebody from Tokyo or from, you know, China or from Mexico or from Guatemala and you share and you communicate and uh, that is the one way we're going to learn to understand where uh, 
our other fellow human beings stand and why they have the traditions that they do and the philosophy, philosophies that they do, the religions that we do, the, the you know visions that we do, the perspectives that we do, the, the you know ways that we're seeking kind of thing. And at the end of the day, we all seek the same thing. We all seek love, inclusion, and, and acceptance. And we're not really that different from each other. And so um, I, I believe that men fishing itself is a little bit of a melting pot kind of thing, as cliche as that sounds. And that is my hopes. I hope to continue to see that grow. And I hope to continue to see the city grow in every aspect of the world, primarily in those, in those fields.